Hello and welcome to the fourth part of my tutorial, Spring Boot course. In this part of the tutorial, I will show you how to implement a delete method to delete objects in the system. It continues after the intro. Stay tuned. First, we extend our existing REST controller with a new method. For this, we write the following method. Public response entity void delete customer add path variable string id. Above the method, we write the annotation add delete mapping slash id now we write the following as the content of the method customer service delete customer id return new response entity HTTP status OK. After we have extended the REST controller, we have to finish the implementation in the service class. We do this by first creating the missing method by clicking on delete customer and pressing Control Enter. Now we select create delete customer and let IntelliJ create the method. After the method is created, we implement the content of the method. Here we enter the following. Customer repo delete id. We are now done with the implementation of the delete method. Now we can test the delete method with Postman. Now that we have implemented the delete method, we will test it with Postman. For this, we first create a new customer. We do this in the first tab. We now enter test customer as first name. Then click on send. We see that the customer is now created in the system. We copy the ID of the customer. Now we go to the second tab and look at all the customers that are in the system. Here we see our new test customer. Next we create a new tab and enter HTTP localhost 8080 customer the ID of the test customer as URL and select delete as method. Now we click on send. We get the HTTP status 200. Our test customer has now been removed from the system. We switch back to the second tab and look at which customers are still in the system. We see that test customer is missing from the list. Testing with Postman is now complete. We have now come to the end of the fourth part of my tutorial. In this part, we have learned how to implement a delete method to remove objects from the system. In the next part of my tutorial, I will show you how to use bean validation to validate requests against your REST methods. I hope you liked this part of my tutorial. If so, I would be very happy about a like. Feel free to share the video with your friends and developer colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I say goodbye and wish you good luck with the development.